So the highlight to start the week is number one, we come into a market that had 450,000 contracts done before the open, which is gigantic. We had a big range. We knew we were going to move and groove. And so it's one of those things where the price of poker has gone up. If you trade multiple contracts, you had to cut it back because you still have to, uh, you don't want to risk a lot more, but you have to risk a lot more. So you adjust for that by cutting your size. If you're only a one lot E-mini trader, go into the micros. But the point is, the faster the market moves around, the more volatility, the more risk you have to take. But there's also more opportunity. What was important this morning was the bias between being bearish to being bullish to being bearish again. What do I mean by that? Well, we open up pretty bearish. It, you know, doesn't take an Einstein to see we're one and a half percent lower. So you do get a lot of people that look to sell it. Well, they were all shook out to a move that took us to like 71 in this S and P. What was important is as it came off the 71s, it started to trickle down to what 55 area. Why was 55, 56 important? Because that's the open. Why is that important? Well, because a lot of people look to buy back to the open thinking, well, they missed this rally to 71. I'll buy the open and life is good. Well, problem is, when life isn't good, that's where we come in. When they move through the open, then you use the open as subsequent resistance. But you have to know why it would maybe be used as support and then become subsequent resistance. That's the key. Why? It's not just lines in the sand. It's why would they work? When you get people that might get long at a certain level, let's call it the open around 55, 56, and we'll draw that line there, and the market bounces away, great. Maybe they made money, but, but if you have an area where you think a lot of people got long and it kind of blasts right through them, they're all stuck. Stuck longs equal what? Sellers. And not only are they sellers, but they're emotional sellers and they have to sell it by the way. Any long position at some point has to come to the market and sell it. So what happens is if you get a lot, a lot of longs above and at that open or at this price I'm drawing, then what do you have? A lot of sell orders that end up going in there around that area. Why do they go in around that area? Because that's the muscle memory of where they got stuck. They're no longer looking to make a profit. They just got, they're carrying all this heat. So if price comes back near where the pain started, they're all sitting up there like helpless little baby birds and mommy birds coming to, and that's the price to feed them. And then the hawk comes, kills mommy bird off, rips off her head and price goes away. Baby birds are left waiting to get fed, falling out of the nest. And that's what puts pressure on the price. Now there's a much longer and better version of the baby bird story I'll tell another time. But that's the whole premise of why support would become resistance. When you could really stick a lot of people long, creating resistance on the other side. If you don't know that, and really from a repetitious standpoint, beat that into your head, which comes by being somewhere like here every day. And always looking through the eyes of other people to create your opinion, to confirm your opinion, and to pull the trigger. Have a safe rest of the day, guys. Be careful. Markets are still moving. Volatility um, isn't just going to go away with this pretty bearish open.